Okay, here's your first worked example. Let's say we've got something going on, you've got two variables, x and y, I don't know, x is the number of caterpillars on my cabbage patch, and y is the number of cabbages that are destroyed by caterpillars in a given season, or something like that. Say we wanted to find the correlation coefficient between x and y, here's how we would do it by hand, the easy way. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is, I've got my x and y's, let's work out what the sum of x is. So let's find the total of my x values. Here we go. Right, so 4 add 2 is 6. 9, 15. Wonderful. Let's do the same for y. 8, 11, 16. Fantastic. Next thing that I'm going to want to work out is my x squared column and my y squared column, where I will, surprise, surprise, just take all my x values and square them. And find all my y values and do the same. And then I need to find the sum of x squared. So what's the total of these x squared? 20, 29, 35, 65. And for y squared, 25, 34, 43, 48, 68. And I could stop there, but no, no, what's that I hear you cry, Antonio? Mr. Lahane, stop. You haven't worked out the final column. Absolutely right. I need a column for x times y. So take each of my x, y pairs and multiply them. Rajan, I hope you're taking notes. Shalu, make sure he's taking notes. If you're not, give him a good kick. Right, where are we? x times y. Let's add them up. 26, 35, 65. So the sum of x times y's is 65. So we have all the important statistics and totals that we need in order to find our product moment correlation coefficient. Let's remind ourselves of the formulae for SXY, SXX and SYY. And we're now just going to substitute in the values that we just calculated. So sum of XY, come back to this sheet, go to the XY column, the total for this was 65. Sum of X times sum of Y, come back here sum of x was 15, sum of y was 16. And we mustn't forget how many results were there, nice and easy in this case, there were four pairs of results. And that will come to some number that I can't do in my head, which you can find out in a second. Let's do the same for this. Sum of x squared was 65 in this case. Sum of x was 15, but it's sum of x squared. So we're going to take that 15 and square it and then divide by 4. And sum of y squared was 68. Sum of y was 16, but it's the sum of y squared. So we're going to square that 16, divide by 4. Let's see if I can work any of these out. 65 take 15 times 15 is 225. So that's going to be 240 over 4. Let's have a look at this one over here. 15 squared is 225. So this is 65, take 225 over 4. And this one over here, 16 squared is 256. So we've got 68, take 256 over 4. Can I tidy any of these up? This one's going to be 65, take 240 over 4 is 60. So that's worth 5. This one down here, 256 divided by 4 is 64. So that's going to be worth 4. And this final one is going to be 60, 55, 56 and a quarter. I think, let's just check that, 200, 220, yeah, 56 and a quarter. So that's going to be 98.75. But remember, I still haven't found the correlation coefficient, but I do now have sexy and sex and SYY, whatever that is. So I can now transfer these into the formula, which if I look back at my previous notes, which are somewhere on the desk that I now can't reach, is as follows. My correlation coefficient is going to be SXY over XYY, SYY square rooted. So SXY was 5, SXX 
was 8.75, SYY was 4, and I'm going to square root that, and that will give me my correlation coefficient for this set of data that I was given.